Our portion of scripture this morning is Zechariah 8, verses 18 and 19. Then the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, The fast of the fourth month, the fast of the fifth, the fast of the seventh, and the fast of the tenth, shall be joy and gladness and cheerful feasts for the house of Judah. Therefore love truth and peace. So we spoke about this a few other mornings ago, that back in 587, the destruction of Jerusalem, these fasts have been instituted since then to commemorate the destruction and all that trouble. But now the temple's restored, things are, are really hopping, things are moving in a good direction, everything's in the positive, the punishments are in the past, God's people are rejoicing. Should we keep all these fasts that have been uh, set up before now? Now remember too that when when they were they came and confronted Zechariah and asked him, should we keep continue keeping these fasts? Remember what he what went on there. Zechariah, God speaks through his servant, and he says, "Well, by the way, when you were fasting all those, during all those years of exile, were you fasting for me, or were you just kind of doing what worked more conveniently for you?" So God kind of calls into question their uh, their sincerity. So all these commemorative fasts for the destruction of Jerusalem. Those are to go away now and be replaced by feasts, feasts of joy and rejoicing and gladness. And so, yes, that, that past business is over. God is going to do good for his people. Some people are very stuck. They get stuck in an old thing. They've always been doing one thing one way, and they get into a rut, and they can only refer to a Christian experience they had years ago. But, but God's always on the move. We should be able to look at something that's, that's current. We should always be able to present something that's, that's current. And so we can't just trust in an experience from so many years ago. And that some of these people might have wanted to keep on doing the fast, keep on doing the things. They were used to them after all. We did it last year. We did it the year before. Grandma did it. You know, everybody did it. But we've got to keep moving. God's kingdom is on the move, and there's things for us to be doing. So let's keep alert and awake and watch, because uh, we can't be trusting in an experience that is years and years old. God has a fresh and rejoicing experience for us in his kingdom today. Let's be on the move as long as God is on the move. And when he's going, we better be with him.